and there's so many uh, further considerations you have to make once you get into like the online space. I'm sure you have insights on that because of uh, recently, like uh, Utica Masjid's channel has grown a lot and um, you've come on relatively recently and Alhamdulillah, the videos are quite popular. But I had a taste of this in terms of if you are going to collaborate, collaborate in a good way, as in like, if you're going to talk about a different personality, talk about them in a good way. And I also don't like, like the relatively, I, I can't say it's fully dishonest, but there's an element of kind of trickery in some of the thumbnails and stuff. So say if I was going to make a video praising um, a scholar or someone that I've learned from to get more views. And this is like, it sounds weird talking about this, but this is like the echo chamber that people get into. If I was to just put in the thumbnail, I love so-and-so because he taught me this, it'd get less views than if I yes. made a face like this and put, is this person right? And then people, yes. would, because you're enticing them by that, it's, it's, a, it's done quite often, but it's like a level of, I don't know, it doesn't sit well because, and then the moment you mention anyone, a famous sheikh, obviously it gets tagged more. So like the viewership, so it's a very kind of something you have to keep a watch over when you get into it, because you can easily become a reaction channel. You can become a good reaction channel if you solely take the benefit, but it's very easy to become a reaction channel to get the views and yes. you justify it yourself. You know, you justify it by saying I'm spreading good and I'm warning people. And like, even though if it's not your place, so it is a big kind of dilemma. And the the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah don't Allah. lie, even if you're trying to make someone laugh, right? That's haram to lie, even if you're going to make someone laugh, right? So what's to say that the thumbnails and the titles and the et cetera don't fall under that category? Are we lying to people? Are we, you know, mm. misleading them? You have the, you know, Al-Bukhari, uh, Imam Al-Bukhari, and he, he went to collect the hadith and he saw the guy deceive his camel, right? Or sorry, his, uh, his donkey, a famous story. He puts his, his, his hand in his pocket and jingles it around like he's going to feed it. And then the animal gets close and it was a trick just to, to catch him again. And then he leaves. He says, I'm not taking hadith from such a person who's capable of this sort of deception. <sighs> Man, it's, it's scary because we're, we're a long way for, and, and the hard thing is, like you said, it becomes industry standard, standard practice. And so we're looking at other YouTube channels and we're seeing what they're doing. And it's like, well, this is what everybody else is doing. Well, yeah, it is what everybody else is doing, but what degree of responsibility do we have as Muslims to be better than that and to do something, uh, that's a little bit more, maybe honest and ethical and transparent, even if it's going to get less lights, even if it's going to get less ad dollars, even if it's going to get less, it's, it's an ethical dilemma. But it's one that I think we yeah. need to, we need to think about. And you get more barakah as well, inshallah. Final question.